Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I brought you to a city that we've never been to before. We're in Surfside, which if you don't know, is just right above Miami Beach, and we're at the Surf Club Residences. So the unit we're looking at today, unit 309, has four bedrooms, plus an office, a den, and a staff quarters, five and a half bathrooms, just over 5,000 square feet, and it's asking $19.5 million. You also get to share the amenities of the Hotel Four Seasons. However, they can't share your amenities. So you get access to two different pools, spas, everything you need, beach access, and I'll include the rest in the description. I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the listing agents for allowing us to do this tour. And if this is your first one on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida, but this is what I do. I take you around, I show you the nicest homes for sale in all of South Florida, and this just happens to be one of them. So on that note, let's go inside and get started. Follow me. So as soon as you come off the private elevator and you're about to access your property, you walk in. And the first thing everybody's gonna do is admire the length of this unit. And on one side, you just see the open ocean, the trees brushling in the distance, the blue, crisp Miami water. It's, it's like heaven every time you walk in. I even love just this mirror on this side that expands the room. So the space in here, 5,000 square feet, is big enough. And then you have this making it feel like 10,000 square feet. But Let's continue onward. So as soon as you walk in, the first thing we're gonna see here, this is the dining room. This is where you're gonna sit down and have those million dollar dinners. You're gonna have those elegant Thanksgivings. And what's lighting up all your delicious food that you home cooked is this I, light fixture? That's insulting. This art piece that just happens to show light. Look at it. It's individually hung by each section, customized to look just like this. So much thought and heart went into the just the light fixture. All over this property, you have art fixtures just like this one, made by a very famous Brazilian artist. It just makes the room stand out, keeping the beach ocean vibe, but adding a little heart and characteristic, which I really like. Believe it or not, this is where you're gonna sit down and watch TV and movies with your loved ones. I'm a big guy, I'm, I'm 5'10", look at the size of this TV, and there's a reason for it, it's because this room is so massive, you need something to be able to capture for everybody. So this couch just elegantly curved around, you got the little lounging part right here, a couple seats, and the person who always, there's always that one person in the family just loves to lay down, they got their section over there, and the finishes down to the wooden slats next to the TV, matching on the ceiling. I think this might be the first house where I've seen the wooden slats on the ceiling and then you have that extremely elegant European lighting on the ceiling as well, just lighting up everything in little pockets here and there and all this open space, which is great. It makes the house feel very clean at all times. Let's go into the master bedroom first and then we'll head back and look at the balcony. Let's say, you know, it's a little rowdy. You wanna leave your guests to party, your kids have friends over and you wanna just have some privacy. This is the door that keeps your master bedroom quiet. But for this purpose, we'll leave it open and just look how fluid that is. This is exactly what I was talking about with the office. So in here, you have the perfect in-suite office, the TV mount on the wall. So what you do is you sit here and you're working and when you get stressed out and you can't take it anymore, you need a break, you do a 180 and you're looking at the most beautiful spectacle that there is on earth, which is the open ocean. And then coming in, if you wanna pass through that way, I'll pass through this way, into the master suite, you're back into paradise. And one thing I'd just like to point out about the view just from the master suite is that the reason that we're on the third floor and not anywhere higher is because the owners of this property wanted to make it feel like you were in a house. You know, not too far up where you're looking down, you came to see the sand, but low enough where you still get the privacy, but you feel like you're at a beach house. And truly, if you've ever been to like a resort beach house, it's exactly what it looks like. You open your windows and you're just looking at trees in the ocean and sand. It's magic. Like, I feel like this was directed by Steven Spielberg. Anyway. This bed, you have this elegant, cozy, comfy couch overlooking another TV that's directly on the opposite side of the work TV, and then boom, this is where you retire at the end of the day. You've earned it. It's time to lay down. You, you, you got this. You've obviously been working very hard. Get in there and take a nap. And the same roof slats and wall slats that we saw over there, you have it projected onto here with this strip of light going across so it exhibits just more of that art feel that you get when you walk in and then the mirrors on each side to expand the room. So let's talk about the bathroom and closet section. This thing in itself is 
extremely impressive. Let's walk into the, her side of the bathroom. So when you come into here, of course you're gonna get the separate sinks, but we're gonna start first with the closet. All of these doors you see down here, come this way. All of this is closet space. You even have a sunglass display, hat display with mannequins, drawers for all your expensive jewelry, watches with locks, and it just goes all the way down to here. Back to the bathroom, leaving this side. We're gonna go to my one of my favorite parts of this whole bathroom, which is the shared shower and tub that connects the his and her bathroom. So check this out. You come into here, you have two slabs of onyx just light protruding. So you're sitting here and you're in like a magical wonderland. You have the biggest shower head I've ever seen above, all the jets, the handheld, and then boom, this soaking tub and it feels really cozy. Kind of like how you put your bed in the corner of the room. This tub is just tucked in there. I don't know why, I feel like if I get in there, I feel like a couch, like a luscious plush couch. And then the best part is overlooking the ocean with all the privacy in the world, even down to the detail of having lights where you put your shampoo. Doesn't get much better than that. And then coming through into his side, we'll just take it into here. Just like her side, all the closet space that you're gonna want going down over here. And all of this is covered by a layer of leather. So detail down to the closet door covers is just elegant. And then into here, boom, we have his side of the bathroom and down to the elegant Toto toilet with full functionality controls on the wall. So from here, let's head back into the living room and continue on. All right, leaving your master suite. I don't know why you would want to. I'd probably just live in there the whole time. Let's take a look at that balcony that I've been teasing this whole time. So we're gonna walk right out. You got this massive hurricane impact, soundproof, windproof, everything proof as you come on out. This is where you're in heaven. You're literally in heaven right now. Like I was saying earlier, you're low enough to where you can appreciate the flowing trees, the water, but you're not high enough to where you feel like you're in a tower, like unrelated to the world. You actually feel like a part of society here. And the width, if you stay right there, look at the width of this floor. So you can easily put couches on both sides, tables, and it goes all the way down out here. I mean, the square footage alone out here is bigger than most people's apartments in Miami. It's, it's very impressive. You're right over the guest area, looking out onto it, beach access. This is where you wanna be when you live in South Florida, when you live in Miami Beach, and when you live in Surfside. This is as good as it gets. So follow me back inside. I wanna show you the rest of this property because it doesn't stop, it keeps going. It gets better and better. The kitchen in, in particular, when you compare it to a lot of the kitchens that you see in Brickle or any of the other buildings on Sunny Isles, this one just has a more homely kind of, it feels like your family's gonna start cooking. It doesn't feel staged, it feels really inviting. So just take a look. You come back over this dining room, and I have to mention this again because it's so unique. I can cross that light fixture again, and it takes you into this kitchen. You can customize it to the mood or setting that is occurring. So let's say it's a very private dinner. Separated from everybody, you can easily just slide this out, and you have this divider that comes from both sides, and look at that. It creates that separation. But let's say you wanna make it maybe a beach themed, or you wanna emphasize the fact that the water view is right there, you leave them open, and it just feels like the kitchen flows. Like you wanna talk about flows, how people say, oh, it flows from one room to the other. This is the definition of flows. It literally feels like it's just like one big room that's separated because your, no, your brain knows to separate it. The island, I love how it just extends the length of this kitchen, and then it ends to a table made out of wood where you can sit and eat. So the breakfast table isn't just like a little round table in the corner, it's part of the whole thing. Cook your favorite dinner, have your chef cook your favorite dinner, and boom, you're already eating it. Even the bananas are staged like pieces of art, and they're real. That took a lot of thought. All of your appliances, refrigerators, everything you need is beautifully hidden. I'm gonna take a guess. Nope, it's gotta be this one. So you got your fridge, freezer over here. Like I said, nicely hidden. I don't know why, I feel like there might be a wine cooler. I kind of knew that. And for when you buy the property, Don Perignon. If you know anything about champagne, you know that's the stuff. And then we got the Mila stove and my favorite type of vent is when it's hidden. So you can't see that huge silver piece. It's not in your face. It's just elegantly hidden underneath. And then looking back down on this side, just looking at that ocean, I, th I think I would get distracted. I wouldn't be able to cook in here because I would forget my eggs. I'd leave the eggs and just get stuck looking at the views like this. It's magic. Let's just keep it going though, down here. 
This is like the guest living room. So you technically have two. It's separated by that first wall with all the mirrors. And just at the end of that wall of mirrors, you actually have a staff quarters where your laundry, a room and a bathroom for the staff member is located peacefully in there. But back to this living room, all the seating space you're gonna need, it's just as cozy as that first room. This couch just emphasizes that whole beach theme and vibe. TV, even the little fixtures, everything is just so perfectly done and designed. Right here, we have that den I was talking about. So like I said, it's five bedrooms with a den, office, and staff room. This is kind of like the den you get right here. This whole area, really, but hidden behind here, you have a nice place where you can either make this, you know, like a bed where someone can spend the night or just a quiet sit down book reading place. You know, the kids are being really loud, time to get that book session in, get peace and quiet, close these up. And you've got a really much needed room for a lot of parents out there. People are gonna really appreciate that room. I know my mom would. Coming in, this is one of the kids' bedrooms or guest suite because you'll see the size of it in a moment. You got the full ensuite on this side and I love the coloring they chose. Everything is really white and vibrant and it just, it, it kind of like emphasizes that whole beach feel. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm at a beach house, which I pretty much am. And then you'll see when I walk into the main part of the suite, this is definitely either a really lucky kids room or just a really lucky guest room because the space you have in here is mind blowing, honestly. It's a huge space. This is definitely the size of some master suites that we've seen, probably most people seen. The person watching this video, this is probably the size of most people's bedrooms. My bedroom is like this size. And this is just for the guest or the child. Got the closets with the mirrors hidden on one side. And over here, I want to, I want to point this out specifically. We are on the street side right now and cars are passing us by and guess what? You can't hear a single thing. It's because it's not only is this hurricane impact, not only are these one-way windows, so you can technically leave these open and no one can see inside, soundproof, which is beautiful. Ask anybody that you know in Miami that lives in a condo if they can hear the street. Nine times out of 10, they can't wait to get out because they can hear it, not in here. And then both of these guest bedrooms have access to the balcony. Let's go take a look at it, but from the bedroom side. So follow me back in here. And we're gonna just make a quick turn into here. You have the access without going into any bedrooms. Close this door, close that door. This is just like another full for the guests, which is really convenient. Shower, sink, everything. And that takes you into the bedroom part, which is really nice. To me, this feels more like a den, movie theater kind of room, but it has more than enough space to put a bedroom. And then boom, access to this balcony. I really want to take you out there because I love how on both sides, you have access to balconies. On that first one that we were by the water, that's more sunrise, ocean. This is sunset city. So you get that city feel and you get that beach feel on one balcony and then look at the length of it. The length is huge. And that building right across over there, that's actually the Four season residence hotel area that you get to share the amenities with. It's really nice. So follow me. We're gonna pass by this bedroom's closets on over here. And then coming out, we have my personal favorite, for some reason, I just really love this room, the final guest room that honestly, the first thing I said when I walked in here is I can't believe this is a kid's bedroom. It's incredible. Also, we, we've all seen bunk beds, right? Where the little ladders in front, look at this. This is like a bunk apartment, it's gorgeous. Overlooking access to that same balcony. And then when you come down here, closet that's hidden on a farmhouse door with a swivel slide and boom. Look how beautiful that is. So it's a mirror, so you got a place to change, but it also gives you privacy in that closet. And then the first thing I asked when I saw this shower was, can anyone see you when you're taking a shower? And the truth is, they actually can't. If you look across into other buildings, it's completely clouded and you can't see in. So you got all the, I can take a shower and that guy wouldn't even notice me. It's what everyone would want. And if you still just feel a little weird about it, you have automatic roll down shades that come down. And it's a little detail, but it's something that you don't really get to see a lot. Usually in new construction properties, anything built after 2010, you have these white sheet kind of roll down shades. Not here. You have actual curtain style shades. If you'll see on this side when it comes down, it's like something that you'd see in a traditional house that's never automatic, but you've got them automatic over here. Really incredible.
So on that note, I'd like to just say thank you again for taking the time to watch this luxury home tour video. If you have any questions about this property you want to see in person, all that information will be in the description below. If you have any questions about the equipment we used, the music, anything like that, like I said, all in the description. Also, don't forget to see the vlog day of this tour so you can see what we did behind the scenes, where we went to eat. All that will be in this video right here. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.